Hi, meet Big Bertha. Big Bertha is a very powerful desktop PC, or at least was a very powerful desktop PC. No offense. You see, Big Bertha and I, we've been together for seven years and she has helped me produce some fantastic music. She has seen me all the way from the very highs, all the way down to the very lows. But, Bertha, cover your ears. No, I'm serious, cover your ears. Okay, fine, I'll do it for you. See, Bertha's been a little bit slow lately. You know, stuttering audio with running too many VSTs. It's hard for me to do my video editing because it lags so much. So, unfortunately, I think it's gonna be time for Big Bertha and I to part ways. I was just saying how wonderful you are and how we're gonna stay together forever. So Apple made waves last year when they released the new versions of the M1 chip with the M1 Pro and M1 Max versions of the MacBook Pro. And after reviewers started getting their hands on them and running tests, I started to turn towards producers who have used them and honestly was floored when I saw that those laptops could handle like hundreds of instances of Omnisphere without even hearing a fan going. So now that I was in the market for a new laptop, this new M1 Max MacBook really grabbed my attention. So what did I do? I went straight to Apple's website and I started building the exact MacBook that I wanted. I started putting the RAM that I wanted, the storage that I wanted, and the CPU that I wanted. And I finally scrolled down and I saw my subtotal, or actually my grand total, and it was $5,000 but I really wanted it. So I even went so far as to apply for an Apple credit card, which I got approved for. And literally the spending limit or credit limit on that card was just enough to get the MacBook, but I couldn't do it. I kept looking at that price and the sticker shock was just way too much for me to handle. So I knew that I needed an alternative, but I didn't know where to go, what to get. And so after weeks of searching, I finally found a laptop that is a total beast and it costs me $2,000 less than the MacBook Pro. So now meet Tiny Thor. Tiny Thor is a Lenovo Legion 7 disguised as a Martian rave UFO. And as you can tell is much smaller than Big Bertha. Not that there's anything wrong with being big, but for my needs, smaller form factors just tend to work better for travel. And the crazy thing about this laptop is that it's at least two to three times more powerful than my old PC, despite it being in such a small form factor. Now this isn't a tech review channel, so I'm not gonna be doing a deep dive into all the specific specs. Well, actually, you know what? I'm a nerd, so I'm going to. So this thing has a Ryzen 9, 5900HX 8-core CPU. It has an RTX 3080 GPU. It has 32 gigs of RAM. It has two terabytes SSD storage. This And it has like more ports than I know what to do with, which is excellent for all the MIDI gear I hook up to my computer. And because this thing is so powerful, it will just, it eviscerates any task that I throw it at it. And to show you how powerful it is, I'm actually going to load up a doll and I'm gonna see just how many instances of VSDs we can run before it bugs out and the audio stops working. I haven't tried this test yet, so I'll be kind of curious to see this as well. Okay, so I'm in my doll and I figure a good test for this is to just see how many instances of contact I can open up. So this particular instance, Unicorda, I know is a very heavily sampled instrument. So I know that this should be very challenging for this laptop to try to keep up with. Now, as far as settings go, because I'm using voice meter to record the DAW audio, the lowest sample size I can use is 1024. I would have liked to be able to test this lower than that, but we'll see how this goes. So what I'll do is I'm going to add 20 tracks, copies of both the track and the instrument, and do that 20 at a time until it breaks. So let's do it. Okay, so here is 20 instances of contact.
Okay, here's 40 tracks. And our CPU meter is doing quite good actually. 60 tracks. Eighty tracks. One hundred twenty tracks. Let's see. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're chilling at twenty percent, and this is already way more, like infinitely more. VST tracks than I would typically ever use on a track, but just for shits, I'm gonna see how many instances of this contact that we can possibly run. So I noticed that at 140 tracks of contact, which is just fucking ridiculous, it plays, but occasionally it stutters out. But what I noticed is it's not it doesn't seem CPU related, so I don't know if that's because of me using voice meter as uh, the ASIO or what, but either way, I might even be able to get more if I use the actual driver from my interface. So, I mean, either way, 120 tracks clean of contact running a very heavily sampled instrument is absolutely nuts. Now there's really three big reasons that I decided to adopt Tiny Thor. And the first reason is the largest, which is price. Like I said before, I saved $2,000 just by going with a Legion 7 versus a MacBook Pro. And look, I'm all for investing in tools to elevate your craft. So if you have the money to drop on a MacBook, it is very well probably a good investment. But for me, I needed to have money for both music, but also to keep the lights on. You see what I did there? Production value. And so considering this laptop has comparable power to a MacBook Pro, I'd say it's a pretty good win. Now, the second reason I went with the Legion 7 is I can actually upgrade the RAM and storage. So I can start with what I need now, and then as I accumulate all these VSTs that I'll never end up using, I can upgrade the storage to accommodate those. And then conversely, with the MacBook Pro, they were kind enough to solder everything on the mo uh, motherboard. So you can't upgrade anything. So therefore, you have to select what you want and then hope that that's gonna last you a long time. And that's partially why the MacBook Pro was so expensive for me, is I tried to spec it out to almost the max level so that I could future-proof it because I knew I couldn't upgrade it. Now, the last big reason that I chose this laptop is a bit more personal. While I'd like to say that I just use Tiny Thor for music production and video editing, it would be a tiny lie because I am a gamer at heart. I always have been. And so with, you just can't game on a MacBook Pro, no matter what anyone says. You need a PC to do it. And so there are just some Friday nights where I just wanna eviscerate demons and do maternal after a sour hinge date. Oh, that's right. That's right, bitch. Yes. Now, while the Legion 7 has a lot going for it, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least talk about the drawbacks of this laptop versus the MacBook Pro. The first of which is battery life. Tiny Thor tries her best, but at her best, she can only get about two to three hours of battery life. And even as I'm filming this, She's probably only at about 30% battery right now and I had to change it to battery saver mode. So this is not a great laptop if you plan to use it on battery mode. And so speaking of noise, that is one other area where the MacBook Pro definitely has an edge. You can really push that thing to the max from what I've seen and you just don't really hear the fans kick on. Now with Tiny Thor, the Legion 7, I can do music production and never really hear the fans. So my initial concern was that if I were to record vocals, you would hear a lot of the fan noise. 
but you don't really because it doesn't really turn on that much. The only time I really hear the fans pretty significantly is when I'm doing video editing or if I'm doing gaming. But even then, it's not really that loud like I've heard with other gaming laptops. So I have a track here on a second monitor that has about 40 tracks or so with multiple VSTs. So I'm gonna run it on mute so it should still be doing all of the processing through VST. So here it is. And I'm just gonna move my lapel mic to the laptop so you can hear the fan noise. So as you can hear, it's pretty much absent. So overall, I would give the Lenovo Legion 7 or Tiny Thor five out of five MIDI keyboards. She will absolutely eviscerate any music production task that you have and just looks like an absolute badass. So if you would like to adopt your own Tiny Thor or learn more about her species, I will leave a link in the description below. All right, are you ready to produce another banger? Okay, cool. Well, we gotta charge you up because you're, you're pretty much dead at this point. All right, I'm gonna go make some more music, but I will see you in the next video.